Roman Gonzalez versus Carlos. Yeah, man. Cedrons, talk- or that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But you yeah, know more about this than I, me. I man. feel like this is Roman Gonzalez' first fight at 115, and this guy is no joke. I think this is the time Roman Gonzalez is going to actually find out what kind of fighter he is, and. He's going to actually fight somebody who's not coming to lose. Because most of the fighters Roman Gonzalez fight, we already know he's going to win. We already know these guys ain't coming to um, go for it all. We already know back in their mind they're going to lose because they have a loss on their record. Now, this guy's undefeated, perfect record. KOs is crazy. Um, I seen HBO like talking about him. This is the fight everybody want to see. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got it for September 10th. So let's see how great these guys are. You got Carlos is ranked number two in the um, 115 pound for pound, and Roman first fight. Let's see, man. Let's definitely see. Well, what you think about this fight? I'm not so up on the on the little guys, but obviously I seen uh, Chocolatito live at the Golovkin Lemieux fight. He had a crazy fan base there, Nicaraguan flags everywhere. Um, but his last fight was against who the heck did he fight last? Who? Um, Roman Gonzalez. Uh, yeah. Uh, I forgot. It wasn't his best performance. That's all I gotta say. Like he did his thing. Not not the one versus Brian Vera that I seen, but his last uh-huh. fight. His last fight to me. So, but he's an exciting little guy. He's a beast. Um. So, and you kind of hyped me up on this other guy. So, obviously, I'm gonna watch it. It's gonna be what a split venue type of deal. Triple G in and, and, uh, and UK and then him and uh, yeah. somewhere out West Coast. Yeah, it's going to so, yeah, be man. in LA and, at and, 10 o'clock. And you said the dude he's fighting is undefeated with a high knockout percentage and he's one way class yeah. bigger. All right. Yep. So, I think 34 I wins. Yeah, 34 yeah, so wins. I'll be interested to hear, like, on other podcasts um, and people talking about this fight, about how good this dude is. But you know me, man. I don't. That division, I know Chalga Latito, but it's a tough division for me to, like, really get excited about. You know, it's just, it's what it is. One, you go up to 122, and I'm there all day with them fighters. But 112, 115, you know, tough. They're trying to well, make we, some We'll Latito. see, man. I, um, I definitely want to see. I really, um, like I said, I don't know how good Roman Gonzalez is. Because I really don't know a lot of these guys at these lower divisions. Yeah, but his skill level is his skill level though is like super fun to watch. Yeah, super fun to watch, definitely. Um, But we can't we can't rate him so high because a lot of times can he break uh, can he break down the yeah? So we we'll see if he um he brings the power to one fifteen. And if he can, if he's going to be a monster at 115. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying. Uh, mm-hmm. I wanted to see him become undisputed at 112, but he didn't do it. So let's see. He rehydrates. Man. He rehydrates up from like 112 to like 128, right? He, he does that. Yeah, Super yeah, he does. Yeah. So he's only moving up three pounds. What do you do? Yeah, three pounds. But, but hey. You know, I can't wait till these fights or they build up somebody that, like, is going to stick out to me like, oh, shit. If that ever happens, you know what I'm saying? Or he just becomes this small guy who just destroyed everybody at his weight class and he's the only known dude, you know? So right. it's pretty interesting. But I like I, I like uh, Chocolatito a real I like him a lot, man. It's a fun guy to watch. Yeah, 